Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Trevor Jackson, and I am here to answer all your guys' questions. So, 21 questions, I believe, are here. Let's get to it. First question. This is from Micah R. Hey, I hope we're doing well. My question is, how many unreleased songs do you have? Um, I have about 245 unreleased songs. That's just off the top. There may be some stragglers around there. Okay, question two, Taisha Brooks. How do you prepare for a new role and how do you become the character? Depending on the role, uh, definitely kind of depends on my preparation for it. But typically, uh, I try not to over prepare. I've, I've found just for me personally, I can tend to get in my head too much and overthink. So I feel like the, the more the more natural I can be and just throw myself into the fire kind of is like how I see it. And just, just what kind of comes off uh, intuitively is kind of what I like to run with. Okay, question three. Is it hard to balance acting and music? Um, I think they actually kind of go hand in hand, uh, especially when I'm making uh, videos or directing and editing and things like that. They definitely kind of, I'm able to blend the two worlds, which I think is awesome. Um, especially when it's kind of like songs that you write. So it's kind of like, you know, a movie, a short film that you wrote and then you're putting an image to it. Um, that's always fun. So I definitely think they, um, in terms of what they do to my soul, are, are awesome and they come at the right times. Question four, I'm here. Will you release merch uh, along with your next album? I would definitely be trying to do that, so stay tuned for that. Question five. A lot of people ask, so when is the new album coming out? It comes out in March, I'm very excited for that. So uh, you guys stay on the lookout. This is from Ariel with an E. After a very hard and terrible breakup, what advice do you have about how you accompany your mind so you can move on. I'd say for me personally, I'd probably make a bunch of music. That kind of helped me a lot. And uh, realize you can't allow one thing to take up too much of your happiness and of, nothing should be your whole world essentially. There's so many things that contribute to the happiness of, of one person. So that's something to remember. Question seven, what's your favorite song on your upcoming album and why, if you can say? If I'm just speaking of what I just thought immediately would be Love Don't Change just because I think it's the most unifying song I have. That's kind of the spirit I've been in lately of uh, bringing people together. I think that song, everyone from every place on the planet can relate to. Question eight, it's from Darius. How are some of your albums different from each other and how do you describe how you were at that time? Okay, for sure. Um, in My Feelings was one, I feel like I was just trying to show that I could write my own music and kind of be in control of my own stuff. So. I feel like that was just kind of a, hey, look what I can do, look what I can do kind of album. Um, Rough Drafts one, I was in a very frustrated spot musically. And I think that's kind of what that represented. That was me finally being able to spread my own wings and say F you to anybody that had anything to say about it. Question nine, what's your favorite movie of all time? Um, damn it, that is a hard question, but for right now I'm just gonna go with Matrix. That's what mine is right now. Question 10, from Melissa. What is something social media doesn't know about you? I feel like if I shared it, it would defeat the question. Are you vocal in your relationships? Or are you more likely to put your emotions into a song to get your point across? Definitely more so like that. Um, I've always said this about social media, if you've seen interviews of mine before, just kind of saying that uh, to give people the keys to your own car, then you give them permission to wreck it and you're no longer in control of the car. So I'm more likely to put it in songs, right? Leave it anonymous. As it relates to your music, are you going to make music video for Just Friends song? Yes, I am gonna make a music video. The video is done. Uh, I had a good time shooting that. The concept is super awesome. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Question 13 from April. My question for you is, how do you manage romantic relationships in the industry? How hard is it for you to open up to people and women? It's difficult, I guess you could say. It's definitely difficult because you feel like you're in a, um, I don't know. You just feel like anything that you say already has a preconceived notion before the person gets uh, the information or even gets to stand in front of you. They are gonna have a few ideas, a few expectations. So that can always be a little bit difficult. It's always kind of hard to determine people's agenda. I've definitely mistaken, not a lot, but a few times, because I feel like I'm pretty good at sensing people's intention and their, you know, vibes. Uh, but very, very rarely it's happened where I've assumed one thing and have definitely been uh, blindsided before. Courtney, hey Trevor, how do you keep God first in your career, especially in the industry that you're involved in? Um, it's pretty easy. That's been the most consistent thing throughout my life and has a very, very amazing track record. God has uh, yet to let me down in that way. Team, when you return home after a long day at work, how do you want to relax? Oh, I want to watch 
some TV, some movies, wanna play some Call of Duty. Um, yeah, maybe just go outside um, and eat a lot of food. I have a problem with eating, I'll admit that. I sometimes go to the kitchen when I'm hungry just to make myself smile, and that's the problem. Question 16 for Mel. Do you think that everyone has a soulmate? I think there's multiple, because I don't think you can meet. I think there's a lot of compatibility throughout, not just the US, when you talk about the world, different countries. You know, there could be someone in Italy that I may never, I may never travel to Italy that may be the perfect person for me. So it's all about where you are and what you're learning and, and what meshes into that world. Question 17 from Whitney. Hey, right? Hey, Trevor. Um, my name is Whitney and I would love to know, is there any chance that you would ever release a completely instrumental project if you just vibing out with your guitar or other instruments you may play? Probably not because I love to be heard and that is, <laughs> that's the gosh darn truth. When it comes to music, I want to be heard. I want to say my words. I want people to hear me. And, you know what I mean? Um, but could I release a few songs like that? Sure. A whole album? I don't know. But then again, I'm who I am now. Could evolve and want to do that later. Question 18, Brooke, what are some of your 2021 goals that you don't mind sharing? Um, I want to be healthier, take more time for myself. I want to improve in terms of just internally. I think there's a lot of internal things I want to uh, improve. Question 19 from Judith, what skills have you picked up during this quarantine? Um, I've been doing a little bit of yoga. By a little bit, I mean probably like five classes amongst like six months. That's not a lot, but you know what I mean? That's just what's been going on. Question 20, by the way. From Maya, what are some deal breakers in a romantic partner? Closed-mindedness, um, gotta be adventurous, you gotta love life, and you gotta enjoy the small things too. Materialism is a complete uh, uh, turn off for me. Last question, question 21, All right? It's from Michelle or Michael, I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. Is your uh, what is your favorite Marvel movie and why? I wanna say Civil War. I wanna say uh, Infinity War and I wanna say Endgame. Endgame because Captain America was able to grab uh, Thor's hammer and his ax and that was just a moment we've all been waiting for. Civil War because they introduced Black Panther in that. That was my first time seeing him on screen. And Infinity War because of Thanos' uh, his journey, his kind of conviction about what he's meant to do. So that's it for the 21 questions. Thank you guys so much uh, for just chilling and talking to me. Hopefully uh, you gained something from this, I hope. And if not, cool, it was nice talking to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm out of here.